What's going on, my people? It's your boy, Charlie Rock LD. <clears throat> What's going on, my people? Talk to me. Charlie Rock LD, Prison Mentality. Talk to me. Charlie Rock LD, Prison Mentality. Today, I want to talk to my gang gang people. Ah, I like saying that. Gang gang. I guess that's a new word for the, the new millennium kids for being a, being a gangster. Today, I want to talk to the young gang bangers. That's what we're talking about today. Prison mentality. I want to talk about the young gang bangers. And the old one, too. We definitely got some guys that are up there in age that are actually gangbanging, you know, and been gangbanging their whole life. It's your boy, Charlie Rock LD, Prison Mentality. I'm a life coach. I uh, coach ex-inmates and their family and their loved ones about uh, especially the, the ones that were formerly incarcerated. I help them with uh, breaking the mindset of being institutionalized because we got to break out of that jail mentality. Prison mentality. I picked the perfect name, prison mentality. And uh, I enlighten guys how to break the mindset of being institutionalized. Because the truth is when uh, you do X amount of years in prison, my people, my brothers, my sisters, you are institutionalized. And the majority of us aren't even aware that we're institutionalized. What's going on, people? Charlie Rock LD, Prison Mentality. Today I want to talk to my gang gang people. I want to talk about having the reputation of a gangster. Having the respect of a gangster. And um, the pain and the suffering that comes with it. A lot of people aren't aware that... Uh, Having the reputation of a gangster is like anything else. There's a price to pay. If you want to be a doctor, you have to pay the price of going to school for many years and learning medicine. If you want to be a lawyer, you have to learn law. If you want to have the reputation and lifestyle of a gangster, you have to go through the pain and suffering. Which, especially putting in that work. There's no way you're going to be a, have a, the reputation of a G and not put in that work. It doesn't work like that. Like I said, whatever you're trying to be, there's a flip side to it. And I want to talk about the pain and suffering that one goes through to have the reputation and the lifestyle of a gangster. Your boy C Rock LD. I'm a OG, BX, legend, Charlie Rock LD. However, that came at a price. It definitely came at a price. Like I said, everything in life comes at a price. And I would like to share my pain and suffering that I went through in order to have the reputation that I had. And that's millions of people knowing my name, Charlie Rock LD. Knowing that I've lived the lifestyle of a gangster, put in the crazy work, and you know, there was a lot of pain and suffering that came through that. You know, you just don't become a G overnight, especially an OG. To my understanding, having the title of an OG means that you have put at least 10 years, a decade of work into being a G. You know? Whether that's being a gangbanger or a one-man army. In my case, I never joined none of the gangs. The only gangs I consider I was down with was Terror Squad. You know, Fat Joe, Big Pun. Big Pun shouted me out on Capital Punishment. Fat Joe shouted me out on countless of his albums while I was in prison. And you know, it is what it is. I would like you to check my page out on Facebook. Charlie Rock LD Prison Mentality. That's my page. Charlie Rock LD Prison Mentality. I'm also on uh, YouTube. 
Charlie Rock LD Prison Mentality. I have a lot of great videos on YouTube talking about all types of topics. As far as being institutionalized, living in prison, uh, women that are in relationship with guys in prison. I have all type of context, great videos. Please check them out. I do them for you. Charlie Rock LD, Prison Mentality. Today I would like to talk to the younger generation, uh, the millennium kids, the gang gang, as y'all like to call them. Huh? I like saying that. But uh, it is what it is. Everything comes with a price. Your boy C Rock LD has the crazy reputation and respect of being a gangster. But I want to talk about the pain and the suffering that I went through. I lost many, many, many years of my life living in a cage for my reputation. And being in prison is like riding a bike. Uh, no matter how much somebody can explain it to you, you would never know the true impact that that has on your life until you experience. It's something that you have to experience like many other things in life. But my young gangbangers, believe me when I tell you, you do not want to go through the pain and suffering that I did. My young gangbangers, gang gang. Y'all do not want to go through the pain and suffering that I did to have the reputation that I have. I'm an OG now. I'm grateful to even be live on this video talking to you. Because the fact is that a lot of my childhood friends, many, many of my childhood friends, didn't make it past 25. They was gunned down in the streets of the South Bronx. Many, many of my childhood friends... Tony Montana, Ski, you know, there's just too many of them to name. And then the other half of my childhood friends are doing forever in prison. I have many friends that have been locked up since 1988. We are in 2002, and they're still locked up. Other hood legends from the Bronx, like Chicky from the Boulevard, Little Pauly, Eddie Ed, Ding Ding, my cousin Pito, you know, there's, there's thousands of them, thousands upon thousands of them that are in prison right now for having that gangster mentality and living that gangster lifestyle. Gang, gang, y'all don't want it. Gang, gang, believe me, you do not want to go through what I went through. I paid with my life. I paid a very high price for living that lifestyle. Again, many, many, many years in prison, away from my family, living like an animal. I call myself a DOC baby because I was practically raised in the Department of Corrections. I went in at 17 years old. Let's say that again. I went in at 17 years old on Rikers Island with the adolescents. That's where I caught this scar right here. I have so many battle wounds, it's not even funny. The biggest one is this one. Your boy got stabbed in the eye, and I lost the eye in prison defending Fat Joe's honor. Yeah, Fat Joe, huh? Ain't that something? At the time, I thought he was my brother. At the time I loved him, they was talking shit about him in the yard, and I banged out. <clears throat> I stabbed a couple of dudes, and you know, I wasn't the only one doing the stabbing. I also got stabbed in the eye, and your boy is blind now. Again, for living that lifestyle. Gang, gang, you don't want it. Little homie, you don't want it. I know I sound like a hypocrite right now, telling you not to do what I did, but everybody always looks at the glory. When a man has glory, everybody always looks at the glory, but they don't look at what the pain and suffering that it took to get there. So gang, gang, 
Listen to your boy, Charlie Rock LD, Prison Mentality. You don't want to go there. They say a smart person learns from his mistakes. However, a wise person learns from the mistakes of other people. Let me say that again. They say a smart person learns from his or her mistake. However, a wise person learns from other people's mistake. So be smart. I mean, be wise. Don't be smart. Be wise. Learn from my mistake. Gang, gang. Y'all don't want it. You don't want to live in prison. I was doing 18 months in solitary confinement when they told me my mother passed away. I was doing 18 months in the box when they told me my beloved mother passed away. I couldn't, I couldn't hug nobody. I couldn't talk to nobody. I couldn't mourn. They took me down to the funeral, but I was all shackled up. It was the most embarrassing and humiliating moment in my life to pay my final respect to my beloved mother and I'm shackled up like a damn animal. Gang, gang, you don't want that. Believe me when I tell you little homies, you don't want that. Y'all need to change your life around, find something to do with yourself, but that gang banging, no bueno. No bueno. Like I said, I feel fortunate and I'm grateful that I'm alive right now to tell you this story. Gang, gang. A lot of my childhood friends were murdered before the age of 25. And the other half are doing forever in prison. I have many friends right now that have been locked up since the 80s. How have you been locked up since 1988? And we are in 2022. Little homie and they still locked up. Never feeling the warmth from a female. Never enjoying a damn slice of pizza. Right now I'm in the park. On a beautiful Saturday. Just enjoying the weather. Gang gang. You don't want to be in the yard. You don't want to deal with prison mentality. You don't little homie. You guys really need to, um, you guys really need to wisen up, man. I'm not using this as an excuse, but I had no father. I was raised with my mother. May she rest in peace. And she did a hell of a job of raising poor kids. But I didn't have a father figure. I didn't have an older brother. I didn't have a mentor. So the streets taught me. I was out in the streets. And we're talking about the 80s. Everybody was a stick-up kid. At the age of 13, I was robbing, I was running up on people and robbing them for their sheepskins and their bombers. And if your shell tops was fly, you were stepping out of those too. At 15, I was straight up robbing bodegas and grocery stores and supermarkets. At 15, in broad daylight with the sold-off shoddy. We used to call it little man. Gang, gang, I've been there. Gang, gang, listen to your boy. Believe me, man. It's not a good lifestyle to live. I know the women get turned on by gangsters. You can still be a gangster and not be a gangbanger. Remember that. You can still be a gangster and not be a gangbanger. When you're a gangbanger, it's a whole different other ball field. I, I spent many, many years in prison and I dealt with many, many gang members. I never joined a gang. I never been in a gang. I was never a king, a blood, a nieta, a Christian, a Muslim. Your boy was none of that. I always ran by myself and I gravitated towards guys that were, they would call us neutrals. NFLs, neutral for life. <laughs> gang, gang. Charlie Rock LD, Prison Mentality. Rock with your boy. Uh, on another note, we just started selling our Prison Mentality t-shirts. So if you survive prison, you got to get yourself the official Prison Mentality t-shirt. You could go on my page and order them. You
You can order your t-shirts at uh, Charlie Rock LD Prison Mentality at gmail.com. Charlie Rock LD Prison Mentality at gmail.com. Again, Prison Mentality t-shirts, hats, mugs. You know, I got to generate money in order to do the things I want to do. Uh, we also accept donations. Donations are always appreciated and welcome. Dollar sign Charlie Rock LD. Dollar sign Charlie Rock LD. We will always welcome with donations. We want to um, rent venues and give free workshops to people coming out of prison and help them break that mindset of being institutionalized and helping them with the re-entry back into society. It's a transition. Your boy, Charlie Rock, I got that. This is what I do. I lived through this. I didn't study this in Harvard. I didn't study this at Yale. I coach from experience. It is what it is. Gang, gang. Holla at your boy, Charlie Rock LD, prison mentality. It is what it is, little homies. Like I said, whatever you want to be in life, there's a price to pay. If you want to be a doctor, you got to go to law school. If you want to be a lawyer, you got to practice law. If you want to be a gangster and live the lifestyle and reputation and the respect of a gangster, you got to, one, put in that work. Two, deal with all the pain and suffering that comes with it which usually is jail. If you're lucky, if you're unlucky, you're gonna get murdered. Look at Pablo Escobar, John Gotti, El Chapo. Doesn't matter what level you in. If you're living that lifestyle, the only thing that awaits you is prison forever or straight getting murdered. I was lucky. I reinvented myself. I am no longer a gangster. Gang, gang. We got to switch that mindset. Rock with your boy, Charlie Rock LD, Prison Mentality. One.